Hello, and welcome to the Query Populate Form Fields uh, demo job. So in this video, I want to spend about two or three minutes to just quickly explain uh, the technology at work here. So here I have a job where I have a form page that's inserting uh, a record into the database, right? So I have two fields, one called name and one called email. And we use this SQL plus item right here to insert it into the FB demo table. Uh, this FB demo, uh, FB demo table is right here. And as you can see, it just contains a list of uh, usernames, uh, ages, emails, etc. Now, of course, in this fee, uh, uh, form, we're concerned about these two fields, the name uh, column and the email column. Now, what's important about this is that you'll notice that the uh, name value property for my form fields matches the database column name. So name and email, notice the lowercase n and e for name and email, matches the columns right here. Now this is important because the actual technology at work here is right here. So here's my query module, and I have the SQL debug data return mode set to populate form fields. So what this essentially means is I'm going to run this query, select name, email, and age from FB demo, and then I'm going to pre-populate these form fields based on this query. Now, the key to this, though, is that the name value for each one of these fields must once, uh, must once again match the database column name that we want the data to come from. So in this case, we're doing exactly that. So I have name value equals name, name value equals email, and name value equals age. And once again, we have columns in our database, name, email, and age. So long as the spelling and punctuation matches, Rack Forms will now automatically go in and it'll populate uh, the form field with that value. Um, the reason why this feature was built is really twofold. The first is as a time saver. So we have long had the ability in Rack Forms to do this, to have a query like we're running right here where we're selecting some fields, and then to use the default value and this guy right here to use the result of that query to pre-populate form fields. So for example, I would say I want the name field right here, I want email to go right there, and I want age to go right there. Now this is fine for a few fields, but as you could probably imagine for a larger application, like say an employment application, this would become tedious really quickly, right? I don't wanna to have to do this 50 or 60 times uh, just to pre-populate form fields. So to a large extent, this feature, this populate form fields, is really just about saving you time, right? You don't wanna to have to do this over and over and over again for larger forms. The other reason why this exists, though, is because it is a perfect complement to the SQL Plus Automator. Now, very quickly, as a brief explanation of what I mean by that, is if you think about it, if I go to my form page where I'm actually collecting that information from my users, uh, in order to create this SQL Plus item, I don't actually have to type in this SQL manually. All I have to do is right-click on my form, go to SQL Plus Automator, and then choose my database vendor, in this case, MySQL, and then uh, simply fill in the database name and table name that I want to create. I could check my two fields. Notice I have name and email. And once again, these match the column names right here. So name and email. And indeed, if I have Rack Forms create the database table for me, whatever these form fields are right here, that's what the column names will be when Rack Forms creates the database for us. Well, because the column names actually match, recall that that's the only requirement that this needs in order to work. So long as we have a query that returns the form fields that we want to pre-populate, again, name, email, and age, well, as long as name, email, and age match right here in terms of uh, punctuation and spelling, well, these form fields will automatically be populated. And so if I had something like that really large 50 or 60 uh, form field uh, employment application, if I wanted to build a version of that employment application that shows information to my user, um, what I would personally do is I would build the e, uh, employment application as I normally would, right, to collect data. Then I would simply rename the job to create a copy of it. And then at the uh, top of the copy job, I'd simply add my query, right? And I'd simply probably just select all from the, let's say, employment app table. And then just set this to populate form fields. And now, uh, so long as we pass in a matching where parameter, um, all those form fields uh, from that application are going to be automatically filled in. So again, two things. It's about speed, yes, but it's also about kind of completing that circle. We use the SQL Plus Automator to create the database table, 
and then we use this guy right here, populate form fields, to populate the form fields. Uh, of course, if you have uh, questions about this or any other jobs that you see in Rack Forms, uh, please let me know, um, as we are always uh, happy to help. Um, but for this job, hopefully it's helped a little bit. If you're not using the SQL Plus Automator and now this new feature, Populate Form Fields, definitely suggest you give it a shot as it can be a huge time saver. Uh, so thanks a lot for your time.